everyone welcome to learn with fun in this video we are going to learn how to automatically generate class diagrams from a dart package so what are we waiting for let's get started so i have only created the default flutter app as you can see here here's the emulator and this is the default app that comes in built right so we are going to create a class diagram for this particular app. Make sure that for whichever app you are creating your class diagram, it is working. It is working well and fine. So make sure to run it and check it. And once you are done checking it, then you can start with the process. Okay, so first of all, we are going to search for a package called as DCDG 2.0.1. Now this DCTG stands for Dart Class Diagram Generator and we are going to use this particular package to get our automatically generated class diagram. So let's start off by installing it. We are going to use this package as a library. So let us add some dependency and install it. So I'm just going to copy this particular portion and go to my Flutter app. In this Flutter app, I am going to my pubspec YAML file and check the dependencies. Now, while pasting the dependency of our DCDG package, we have to make sure that it is aligned with the Flutter package, not with the SDK. Okay, so just make sure that it is aligned with the word Flutter here. So we are going to paste this and we are done. So once we're done, we have to go to our main.dart file, close this YAML file. So now it is showing that pubspec has been edited. So just click on get dependencies. Just in case this get dependency doesn't get shown, don't worry. Just go to the terminal here and type flutter pub get, which is written right here. And it would do the job. So now the process is finished. So now we can get started with the main process. We have to import the DCDG package. This package has to be imported to your main.dart file. Okay, just make sure that you import it in your main.dart file. So how are we going to import it? So just on this step three, just copy this particular code and paste it just below this import line. All right. Because we always import our packages on the top, okay? It would just show a gray color, but that is not an issue. Just go with the flow. That won't create any problem. Once we have imported our package, we'll go to the terminal right below, right here. And it would open somewhat like this. Now, the next thing that we are supposed to do according to this particular readme is that in this example, it shows that we have to do pub global run dcdg now this has a little problem here if you run this particular code as it is it won't work i'll tell you why because this was for a later flutter version and it doesn't work anymore so all we have to do is write flutter and space and just paste this right here and you don't have to do anything else and just press enter and it would do its job just make sure that whatever your app name is it is showing right here in blue color if it's not showing then you have to go into the directory where your flutter app is if you don't go to that directory it won't work properly so make sure you're in that directory so once it's done you can see here's a code like thing right so all we have to do is from this at the rate start UML from this portion till end UML. You see there is this at the rate end UML. We'll just select this and copy this. All right. And we will go to a plant UML editor. This is one plant UML editor that I like. You can go for any other plant UML editor. This worked the best for me. So I use this one. So whatever code is already written there or maybe it's not just cut it off and 
paste the one we have just copied from the terminal. All right. Now you can set what size you want. You can set if you want the image to be a PNG file or an SVG file. And you just have to press either Control Enter if you're using Windows or if you're using a Mac, then you have to type Command Enter. So it would refresh and if Command Enter is not working, don't worry. Just click on this particular refresh button and it would do the job. Now we have our class diagram right here. Since this was a demo app and it did not have a lot of working, it's really small. Your class diagram might or might not be bigger than this. So that's absolutely fine. You can choose the type of image you want to download. If a PNG image is not working well for you, then you can download an SVG image. Just click on download here and save this with whatever name you want to download it. Meanwhile, it's downloading. Make sure to hit the like button if you found this video useful and share it with your friends. Let's open the image and check. See, we have the PNG image here and it is perfectly fine. So my friends, that's how you automatically generate a class diagram for Dart language. For more such videos, make sure that you share and subscribe to learn with fun. Thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep growing.